We're burning a DVD on Windows 7. Okay guys, what you're going to need to do is you will need to download some software. I've got the link on the screen, dvdflick.net. It's a great piece of software, fairly easy to use. So what you'll need to do is click on the download link. Download should automatically start. Follow a few prompts and away you go. If you're not sure on how to install software, maybe do a quick YouTube search on installing software for Windows 7. Once you've installed the software, you need to go to your programs menu and run the program. Click on the project settings and then click on the burning tab. It should automatically pick the DVD burning drive on your computer. You need to set the speed to around eight times. I find that works quite well. So you'll need to click on add title. This is on the right hand side up the top. Select the routines that you would like to use. You can add one through to 10 average routines to a DVD. On the left hand side, you'll see a cursor. This is the area that shows you how much data you can add to your DVD. Once you've selected and added the video files, you will need to go up to project settings. Here you will be able to add a title. Select the size 4.3 gigabytes. Next, click on the video tab and make sure that your video format is set to PAL. Underneath that, you will see a window. Make sure you are set to auto fit. Then go to playback. This is where you can add instructions for the DVD. You may select any of the following. I would say play the next title is a good option to select. Next, go to menu settings. This is where you will choose whether to show a menu or not. You may just click none. Now you're ready to create the DVD. Make sure you have a blank DVD loaded in your burner. Click create DVD. Follow the few on-screen prompts. The encoding and burning process may take a bit of time. It will depend on the speed of your computer, so please just be patient. That's really about it. When it's finished, it should pop out and be ready to play in a standard DVD player. I hope this helped.